wonder what the next job will be like. That's how I got into it. One minute a regular cabbie, the next a respected mafioso. You were all right with killing people? Usually people have a problem with that. You know, I ain't one of those people with a thirst for blood. I don't need violence in my life. And I don't look for trouble. But I also don't have any remorse. They wanted to outsmart us, so we had to outsmart them. No excuses. It was all the same to me. I wasn't interested in the fates of other people. Everybody said it was just business and that the family sticks together. It was different from living alone and nobody giving a damn about you. Suddenly you're respected by all the people you meet. Everybody knows you can help them, but you can also destroy their lives. And everybody tries to ingratiate themselves to you. And what about the police? You just walked away, just like that, from a massacre. Didn't you have any problem with this? You work for the police. You ought to know. You know, the Mafia runs the whole city. The Salieri family makes over 25 million bucks every year. The papers were full of it. But nobody saw nothing. If they wanted to stay alive. We paid off the bureaucrats six grand a month. Your bosses had liquor at trade price and got payouts for special jobs from both Salieri and Morello. Case closed, lack of evidence. Cops would even move shipments of drink for us. I guess you'd have heard something about that. So what about your two friends? Well, they were better off than you'd think. Salieri had a good doc for his boys, and it's not like he ever asked any questions. In a few weeks, they'd be healthy and back on the streets again. The only one who worried us was Morello. He wanted to be the big cheese, which Salieri couldn't let him do. Salieri had no intention of being in second place. You know, a person becomes a Don because of his thirst for power. And he doesn't care about any other rules than his own. That's how it is, Detective. So he'd be his own boss, independent of the police, of the state, of anyone. That's why a person becomes a Don. Salieri and Morello both wanted it all. They kept sparring with each other, but they both knew that if it all blew up, it would be hell. The big difference between them was in their methods. I heard a little story about Morello. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Um... You I mean it. Do you know what you've done? Do you know how much that car cost? I, uh, I was driving slowly, Mr. Morello. Uh, I don't know how, uh... Do you mean to say that I... I crashed into your car? Uh, uh, no. Sir, I, uh, I only... I wanted... Uh, no, sir, I... No! Fast thing gets in my way! Salieri built his respect as a businessman. Everybody knew that they didn't need to fear him if they did what they should. They knew that if they needed something, they could come to Mr. Salieri. So Salieri made friends, often helped people with various problems, and expected the same in return. When somebody crossed him, they broke a cardinal rule, and everybody knew what would happen. Morello was just a mean bastard. He built his power through violence. Even his friends feared him. Most people just tried to avoid him. Listen, Tommy. I have a delicate job for you. I don't know anyone else who could do it better than you. You're a good driver. 
and you have experience. Well, to make it simple, tomorrow all the best motors are going to race at the city track. And I bet on one kid who's been a favorite up until now. I helped him along in his career a little. I like fast cars and I said to myself that I could make back a little on that investment. You understand? And then Ralphie starts saying that some European has come over and his car is certain to win. Ralphie knows cars. He's real good with them. But otherwise he's a complete moron. What, he couldn't have told me before I bet on the kid? But still, what the hell is a guy, God knows from where, doing here? These are American races. Me and the consigliere here were thinking about what to do. Because a lot of our boys have bet the same as me. And they certainly wouldn't be happy if they lost their dough. And how would that make me look? Like an old idiot. Tommy, I can't let that happen. We thought, with our consigliere, about what to do with it. If something happens to him, that's no way. It won't be fair play. I won't enjoy my winning at all. Ralph told me that he knows a guy who guards the racetrack garage. Tonight, you're gonna go there and take this European's car to a but mechanic who knows his way around these machines. He'll take a look at theirs and maybe improve ours. As soon as he's finished working on it, you'll take it back. It's important that the car is back in its place before anybody catches on. And don't even think but about crashing it or getting I... caught by the cops. Are we clear? Yes, boss. If you pull it off, you'll of course get a share of the winnings. Now go. Ralph will tell you where and how. Tom, time's slipping away. Now's not the time to talk. Not now, Tom. I got my hands full, huh? Hey, Ralphie. You got some news about this job? Sure, Tommy. You need to go to the city racetrack and borrow that m m m m m motor there. My f friend b b Bobby works there. You go around back there and uh, along the w way is the gate gatehouse. T -t 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 Tell Bobby that the Ralph sent you and Bobby will take you to the car. It's already been agreed b b b with him. And then? You just have to take it to the auto service of my f f friend Luca Bertoni. It's in Newark under the Giuliani Bridge. He'll t t t t t t take a look at it and, and t t tune it a little. And then you just take it back. This should be easy enough. But you, you, you gotta get it done before 1.15 a.m. when the g g guard changes so that nobody n n n knows that somebody drove the motor in the night. There can't even be a scratch on it. And, 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 and try to avoid the cops. They, 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 they mustn't catch you. Hmm. And how'll I get there? Well, I got something new in. Ain't no big thing to s s swipe one. B -b 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 watch. You just stick a piece of w w wire in here and twist it a, a, a little and you get inside where you gotta join these two wires. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Thanks, Ralphie. Now don't you go sparing the gas, Tom. <laughs>
Evening. You must be Ralph's friend. That's right. Okay, we'll take your car. Hey, we're here, buddy. Come on, we haven't got a lot of time. Is that it? Yeah, buddy, be real careful. There can't even be a scratch on it. And avoid the cops like the devil, because this car will be real obvious. That's right. In about half an hour, the second guard will come. So you gotta be back by then, buddy. And be real careful, that car goes fast. Maybe it's the fastest car in the world, who knows? Sure, Bobby, no problem. I'll take care of it in a half hour.
Hey there! You're from Mr. Salieri, right? I'm Lucas Bertoni. Hi, I'm Tom. They say you can take the bite out of this monster. I reckon so. Well, you'd better get moving. We only have 27 minutes left. Hmm. That ain't much time. We'll see what could be done. You can hang out a while. Hey, how's it going in there? Just finished. You can go. Uh, but you're gonna have to hurry. It ain't gonna run as well as when you first brought it in. Thanks. Mr. Salieri appreciates your work. Sure, give my regards to him. If he ever needs anything again, I'd be glad to help out. I bet on the same driver as him. So you pulled it off, buddy. And the car isn't even scratched. Thanks, Bobby. It really was the fastest car in the world. Sure is. We're lucky you managed it. I bet on the Don's car, too. It seems everybody did. I bet on it. So did almost everybody in my neighborhood. 
I figure the driver's pretty important, too. Sure. Well, I won't keep you. Good night. Take care, Bobby. Thanks for the help. Hey, Luigi. Hey, Tommy. Where is everybody? They're all at the track. You're late. I needed to get a little sleep after last night's job. Sure. Hello? Yes? Sorry, just got in. Sure. That's for you, Tom. Hello? Frank here. Tom? You did well yesterday. But now we need your help again. Come over to the racing track right away. That guy who was supposed to win the race got his arm broken by some thug. Probably no coincidence. Anyway, you're gonna have to race. But, but, Frank, I... Tom, it's a half an hour before the race. So I don't have time to teach someone else how to drive. Christ, Tom, this concerns a big bag of money. I hope you understand that. Yeah, okay. Frank, So but... I expect to see you here at the track in a few minutes. You don't look too excited. That's because I ain't. We'll have a glass of something uh, late after closing time.
Hey, Tommy, I knew we could count on you. You really want me to do this? I've never raced before. Okay, I know it won't be easy, but we don't have a choice. If you can do it, we won't lose out. Do I look like I can do this? I don't even know the rules. Look, it's a cakewalk. You go five laps, you need to come in first for us to win. If you come in second, the dough's lost. But since we tuned that clown's car a little, everything should go smoothly. Also, at those speeds, it's quite normal for someone to bang into you. So watch out for those other bastards. Good luck, Tom. I know you can do it. Well, I don't believe it. <clears throat> Tom, half the neighborhood and all our boys bet on the Don's boy. Do you know what it would mean if you lost? The Don would lose. You would lose all the respect which we busted our asses to build up. People give us their trust as well as their dough. Do you understand what's at stake? Yeah, I got it, Frank. I understand. Take it easy, son. Show them what you're made of. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tommy. You're really one of us now. A lot of people made a lot of money on that race, Tommy. And you get all the credit. So you won't come out short. You should stop by and see Lucas Bertoni. He also bet and won a pile of money. So he wants to repay you, too. Somehow. Okay, I will. Congratulations, you big Thanks. hero.
Hello, is there anyone home? Hey, Tommy, right here. Hey, Tom! Congratulations on winning, huh? Oh, you did great. I didn't really think you'd do it at first, huh? But when you got going, I knew how it would end, yeah. Thanks to you, I won a big bag of money. And, just so you know I'm not ungrateful, I'll teach you a few tricks. You see that, Butte? Well, now I can't give it to you, but I can show you how to lift one and where. Watch how easy it is to get into this baby. There you go. Piece of cake. Okay. I figure I can manage that. There's another one that belongs to a loaded official down at City Hall. During the day, it sits in a car lot behind a municipal building on Central Island. I think I might go and check if it's, uh, parked correctly. When you get tired of that, stop back here. I always have something new. Thanks, Lucas. I'll come by sometime after work. I'll be seeing you.
so I made a few new friends and got my first luxury car. Didn't seem so bad being a gangster. One evening, after a slow day, I was sitting alone at Salieri's and just drinking. Luigi came over to me and asked me if I wouldn't do him a favor. Hey, Tommy. You know my daughter, right? Yeah, Luigi. Nice girl. You must be proud. Thanks, Tommy. She sometimes helps out here behind the bar. Thing is, I don't want her to walk home alone tonight. Only yesterday some stupid punks gave us some problems. You know, with all that dirty talk and all that. You know, I am worried about the girl. So I thought that maybe you could see her home. It's not far away. You're a gentleman and you have a lot of respect in this neighborhood. Those punks wouldn't try anything with you around. No problem, Luigi. It'll be a walk in the park. Oh, Tom, you cannot imagine how grateful I am. Bam, I was worried. No one knows who these guys are. Come in for lunch tomorrow and I'll do something special. Sarah, come over here. Sarah, this is Tommy. He'll take you home and make sure those punks don't bother you anymore. Hello. Hello, thanks a lot. It won't take you long. I don't live very far from here. Let me get my coat and then we can go. Okay. I'll wait for you outside. It's really nice of you to be doing this. Those clowns were really strange. I was really nervous. No problem. Paulie and I'll deal with those troublemakers later. So you also work for Mr. Salieri, don't you? He's a nice man. He's always a lot of fun. Yeah, I work for him sometimes. But we usually ain't laughing and having fun. So what do you actually do? Hmm. I usually just chauffeur the Don around. Even though he occasionally surprises me. Like when he wanted me to drive in the race. Yeah, I saw that. You drove really well. Uh, I was just real lucky. You're so modest. It had to be more than luck to beat those guys. Well, I used to drive a taxi. And the only real racing I've ever done was the night before. There you go. You see, you got talent. Mm, you might be right. Anyway, it wasn't too pretty. I don't like being in the spotlight. Hey, looky here. Who's the cute pair? There they are. What's up? You were alone last night, darling, and tonight you have a boyfriend. Boys, I think it would be better if you just go away and not make any problems. I think the only one here with a problem is you, Chief. If I were in your shoes, I'd leave right now. You never know what might happen. We'll see, lover boy. Help! And now Help we'll fight like men. Being attacked. <laughs> Help us, somebody! Oh. I smell blood. Oh. Come here, we oh. have a problem. Oh. Ah. Here oh. he is! Oh. Oh. Everybody in, oh. quick! Oh. Ah. Everybody! Oh. 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 Come in! Oh. 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 Here we go! Dress, sweetie. Help! Uh, Help! You gotta undo it. We're but you wanna take a real man and not some bad hustler? I don't know what would have happened. That's okay, Sarah. Anytime. 
I was really scared, Tom. Are you okay? Come on, we're almost home. I'll take a look at you there. I live alone right next door to Pop. My mother left us not long after I was born. So, you work with Pauly too? He's really funny. Yeah, yeah, he's real funny. I always say that he could have been an actor. Sometimes he acts real strange. It's really creepy. I don't know how a person can change mood so suddenly. He must have been through a lot in his life. <laughs> yeah, he's been around the block a few times. He grew up on the streets and everything rubbed off on him. Maybe that's why he behaves kind of rough to strangers. He's real grateful to Don Salieri. Who knows what would have happened if he hadn't taken him under his wing. Yeah, Mr. Salieri even helped out my dad a lot. He's almost like a grandfather to me. Yeah, Don Salieri's a good guy. Okay, here we are. Come inside. So, this is my kingdom. Come in and take a load off. I'll have a look at your wounds. This is quite a kingdom. Roll up your sleeves, sir. Help is at hand. Well, let's have a look. Hmm, doesn't look too serious. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They looked a lot worse than they are. Hmm, hold on a second, I'll clean it. There you go, it didn't even hurt. Thank you. It's me who should be thanking you. Would you care for a drink, Tom? Well, I could use a little whiskey, if you got it. Sure thing. This evening's getting interesting. Here you go, hero. So, do you swing? What? Do you like dancing, music? I have a gramophone. Yeah, I like music. Are Salieri's men tough with everyone? Well, we try to be gentle with people sometimes. Some of you, maybe. But only a few. And are you one of Salieri's tough guys? Only sometimes. Well, I think you're a very good bad man. Oh, sometimes I'm even a very bad good man.
Sarah was an angel. I had a lot of girls before that, but that was something different. Very different. It was clear to me that if I was going to spend the rest of my life with someone, it would be with her. The very next day I told Salieri what happened with the punks. The gang of hoodlums had set up residence in his territory, causing trouble and scaring good people. Don Salieri was not pleased. What? In my territory? The nerve. And on top of that, they attacked defenseless women. Did anything happen to Sarah, Tommy? No, boss. She's okay. I took care of it. Good. Why the hell didn't Luigi say something? We could have taken care of this immediately. I won't stand for those chicken shits attacking people in my territory. Who do they think they are? They pay me for protection, so we've got to get these punks and put them where they belong. Me and Tom will fix it. Do those bastards think this is freaking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Paulie, Paulie, take it easy. Nobody's killing anybody, get it? I want you to teach them a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies and leave them laying in a pool of their own blood. Make sure those bastards need wheelchairs. Little kids will laugh at their busted faces. Let everybody see what happens when somebody trashes my territory. Sounds interesting, boss. That ain't a bad idea at all. We'll need to find out where they're located. Big Biff might know something. He's always standing around in Chinatown. Go find him and ask him. No problem, boss. It's good that we're cleaning up the streets. People will trust us more knowing that the streets are safe in our territory. Leave me alone a while. I need to think things over. We'll talk later. Just go. The job won't work. Tom, thank you. Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't walked Sarah home? I am indebted to you. What did, do you need? Salute, the boys. So, what'll it be today? We gotta give a few clowns a good beating, Vinny. The best bet would be these superb bats. This one here is autographed by one of the MVPs of the league. Wow, I can't believe it. Is this really his? Well, to tell you the truth, it ain't. But if you're smashing someone in the face with it, they certainly won't question you. We'll need some heaters, too. You never know. My words exactly. I've got these Colt 1911s. Great automatics. Thanks, Vinny.
Howdy, partners. How's tricks? Hey there, you fat bastard. We need a little piece of information. What's going on? A gang of jokers have set themselves up in our territory, and they're giving people a bad time. They messed with Luigi's daughter, and if it wasn't for Tom here, who knows what they would have done to her. We need to know where they meet, so we can deliver them a message from Don Salieri. Came to the right place, Paulie. I know what's going on. A few people have already had problems with them, and they told me meet at the old service station near the Terranova Bridge. It's a little ways from here. You can get there through a sort of side door across the yard. Send them my regards, Paulie. Thanks, Biff. I owe you one. We gotta go. Sure. shooting. Hey, pal. Don Salieri sends his regards. Go ahead. I'd really love to hear it. I'll knock your teeth out. Everybody here. We got a job to do. Thanks. Thank God you showed up. Finally someone to deal with those bastards. The cops didn't lift a finger, because one of those punks is supposed to be the son of someone down in City Hall. What are you trying to pull here? I'm trying to kick your ass out of this part of town. 
The guy's a mafia, Johnny. Let's hit the road. Oh, shit. Quick, get to the car. We gotta get him. I feel sorry for these animals. He shoot you in the back the first opportunity he gets. This one's finished. One less to worry about. I thought about what my mother or Sarah would do if they saw me there. Why are you standing there with that look on your face? Remember? Those guys wanted to do your girl yesterday. You better get used to it. I got used to it. <laughs> 